Sir, we got a problem. What do you got? Radiation levels in the lab are through the roof. There's something moving in the air duct. Two months now, we've seen neither hide nor hair of the Newark, its crew, or its cargo. Nothing. Up until 36 hours ago, we managed to pick up what appeared to be the metallic hull of a vessel, resting some 500 feet down. Lieutenant, if you would. Now nearly 380 feet long, and a water displacement of over 7,800 tons. If it's not the Newark, it's the biggest goddamn tuner I've ever seen. 1,496 pounds. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Hollyfield, is it? The largest bluefin tuna. 1,496 pounds. What in the hell is he talking about? It's better to just let him finish. Go ahead, Laszlo. Caught in 1979 by Nova Scotia native Ken Fraser. He was a commercial fisherman for... Twelve years. That's it. All right. Now Uncle Sam wants his submarine back. More importantly, he wants his cargo. This way you all fit into the picture. Lieutenant Williams, this is Genutech show. It's their project, it's their responsibility to clean up the mess. Now, if I didn't have direct orders from the Pentagon, I'd have sent a crew down there to sink that son of a gun. No questions asked. Now, your job is to make sure they get all the help they can need, okay? Sir, yes, sir. All right, let's get to it. This up looks like it's gonna be about as much fun as my last trip to the free clinic.
course to south, southwest 1, 157. Departure will be at 11.05. Total trip time to the Newark should be three hours. Oh, great. A three-hour tour. What was that, Silva? <laughs> Nothing else. So, Sarge, is there going to be an in-flight movie on this trip or what? In-flight movie, Volante? How about I entertain you with tales of the week of KP duty you'll be getting when we get back to port? That'll take the hair off your palms and put it on your chest where it belongs. How does that sound to you, Marine? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. You're a strong one. Well, I, 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 I work out. Well, I mean, I mean, you, you. At ease, Marie. She's with me. Yeah. You and everyone else. Did you say something, Dr. Ryan? We'll be moving as soon as your equipment is stowed and everyone is strapped in for travel. Less than two clicks away from the newer. I'll be docking five. Take a sense, Silva. All right, so it's like 1 a.m. last night, and I can't sleep because we're all going on this op today. Sounds like performance anxiety. So I head into the rec room, you know, see what's going on. I see the tube, so I turn it on. Now I'm flipping through the channels, right? And fucking with the state of network TV today, I wind up in the no man's land of basic cable, okay? So. What do I find while I'm surfing through those channels? That's right. The pet psychic. <laughs> Sweet leaping Jesus, not this again. I, I swear, this bitch can go all Yoda on dogs and cats and even fucking gerbils. She can tell you when... Oh, but you're fucking parakeet. If you have a parakeet, she can tell you when that parakeet has issues with the, its own mother. Like right out of the fucking egg, man. Or when your iguana is in the midst of some sort of manic episode. It's crazy, I swear. Anyway. Come on, LT, let me shoot like, just one. Once. In the no can do, Marine. That's an improper use of military ordinance. Because I have been sucked into this 90-year-old British broad. Because she is having a sit-down with a dude's cocker spaniel. Why? I don't know what it is with the guys these days. Because the dude's cocker spaniel is having issues. Last week it was the antique show. And you know what the best part is, man? I am full on intrigued by this shot. I am hanging on every word that comes out of this bitch's mouth. I swear to God, if I had a, a. Uh, wonder brass about piping that lifetime channel into the barracks. Damn, affirmative action. Right. Next thing you know, women are going to be wanting to vote, or, heaven forbid, wear shoes and leave the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So the show ends, and I am riveted as I watch this young girl bawling her eyes out because she's channeling that chick's dead ferret. It's freaking hypnotic, man. I was just hoping I'd get back in time to watch the next episode.
Docking in five, four, three, two, one. If you ladies are finished discussing last night's offering of must-see TV, let's gear up and get ready for dispersal. In five. Move it. The seal looks firm, sir. I think we're in the green. Open it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Opening hatch. <laughs> Ten bucks is the hatch we have. Done. Smells like ass and couch. No, it smells like death. Decomposition. Decomposition? Yeah. And a lot of it to be putting out this kind of stench. Volante, you're our first lucky contestant. Silva, you're number two. Take the starboard. Sarge and I'll take the port. Weapons at ready. Perimeter set to 10 feet starboard and port from our position. Dr. Ryan, your team will follow once the area below is secure. Yargis, bring up the rear and secure the gear below. Sir, yes sir. Go. the she-wolf sold away? Dude, you'd fuck a snake if somebody held its head. <laughs> well, yeah. What's the hold up here? Seems to have been an accident in here, LT. Coffee break's over. Move out. Oh. I don't know how, but it's worse out here. You two secure the starboard side passageway. Be careful. 10-4, LT. I'll start securing the port. Sorry, boss.
I know, I know, I know. I saw it too. It was, it was a massacre. It was the same in all the rooms. Someone came in here with the bus saw. Tore through these guys like tissue paper. Right, right, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Man! This is LT, go! Status. It's the LT. Anything that tries to get through this door that doesn't wear a crew cut, shoot. There's gunfire in here. Nice going there, Slick. You got him. Look again. I see your nine. And I'm considering raising you. Touche. If you boys are finished, we got work to do. Where's the lieutenant? Couldn't find him. And on top of that, the entire crew has been torn to pieces. They were slaughtered. By what? I don't know. I was hoping Dr. Ryan could answer that question. I'm not sure I like your tone, Marine. You know that the specifics of Product TM are classified genutech intellectual property. Yeah, need to know basis, right? Well, I'm second in command, and I need to know if there's anything on this ship that's going to endanger our lives. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm still in charge here, even if your lieutenant has gone into hiding. Are we clear? The first thing we have to do is get the lights back on. The primary circuit breakers won't level down near the mess hall. Here. I don't know about you, but I'd prefer not to have to travel the lengths of the Newark in dark halls covered with dead bodies. Well, the mess hall is almost directly below us. I spotted stairs to a lower deck 20 feet to starboard. A two-man team could get down there and back in a couple of minutes. From what I read, 
Your Mr. Hollyfield is some sort of mechanical genius. He should have no problems getting the lights up and running again. Exactly. He should be able to get the air conditioning and recycling units working as well. It must have malfunctioned from lack of maintenance. As hot and humid as it is right now, it's only going to get worse. Volante, if your dance card isn't filled, I'd like you to take Mr. Hollyfield down and get the lights back on. You've got ten minutes. All right, Lazo, we got work to do. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so, Laz, you know much about submarine? Oh, uh, the first boat known to have been uh, navigating on the water was built in 1620, excuse me, by the uh, Dutchman Cornelius van Drebbel. Van Drebbel was said to have developed a, 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 a chemical that would purify the air and allow the crew to stay submerged for uh, extended periods of time. Thank you. Whew, it smells in here. Did you fart? No. I bet someone did. We also need to get someone onto the bridge to shake things out there. See if we can get this crate on a steady course or at least back up to the surface. The Newark is not our concern here. We need to secure the cargo as soon as possible and bring whatever we can over to the Palomino. The bridge first, then your cargo. Unless there's something I need to know about your little project. Fine. Let's get moving. Take talk, people, take talk. Keep an eye out for the LT. Nuclear powered submarines cost? No, Laz, why don't you tell me? They cost in excess of $30 million. $30 million. And that's that's exclusive of the power plant. Yeah, right. yeah, you just must be the life of the party back at Genutech, Laz. <laughs> yeah, I would. Doorway just up ahead. Let's go. The uh, introduction of heat and moisture into the basic wiring has cost us short. Well, uh, we should be back online as soon as I figure out where, where it is. Hey, come on, it's the red one. It's always the red wire. Go ahead. out of the question. I didn't need a three-quarter inch, inch ratchet. No, 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 no. What you need is to show it who's boss. Hold on. Use the hammer.
That's all the brown stuff. Smells like, uh, sweet. I don't know, Sarge. It tastes kind of earthy. Shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Excrement. Oh, crap. <coughs> That's right, Marine. What you got there is a handful of animal excrement. Unless my analysis is mistaken. And what kind of animal excrement would that be, Dr. Ryan? I may not get as much access to the learning channel as Volante, but I'm not familiar with any kind of naturally occurring submarine-based fauna. Well, leave 200 corpses lying around for two months, Sergeant, and you'll be surprised what can pop up, even on a submarine. See? Naturally occurring submarine-based fauna. Keep moving. far beyond what we projected in the lab. We never thought they'd be able to reproduce. There must be some sort of minor leak in the reactor, accelerating the mutagens in their bodies and speeding up their metabolisms. We need to make it to the hold as soon as possible to see how extensive the initial release was. If it's as bad as it looks, we might just have to scrap the mission. Negative. I'm not about to let you just throw this project away. But the Marines... The Marines are trained to handle anything that's thrown at them. They're big boys. They can handle themselves. You just keep your mouth shut and remember what our mission is. We need to bring back as much of the original cargo as possible and as many new samples as we can get our hands on.
pull you a trail of crumbs with the rookie. I'm on it. I know what I, I know what I heard. Dude, dude, there's nothing there. It's your imagination. A creepy boat, dead bodies, lieutenants missing. I mean, you know, anybody'd be scared. Any rookie would be scared. Man. Huh? Come on, come on, let's go find the others, man. Got spooked and saw his own shadow, looks like. Uh, we're in for another six weeks of winter. <laughs> the door looks trash, Sarge. Yeah. I don't like any of this. Don't like it one bit. Okay, let's move inside, Jargus. You're on point. Okay, step aside, ma'am. Sorry, John. I know, I know. You fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. He never gives up. He's always there. Would you wish help? Make sure the bridge is clear. With one more television reference, I'll have you two scrapping the trains back at Pendleton for a month. Fifteen years of training, you'd think they could have given him a sense of humor. Check the helm. See if we've got navigation. Silva, get on the radio. See if you can raise Pendleton. Pendleton, this is the USS Newark. Do you read? Dr. Ryan. Pendleton, this is the USS Newark. Do you read? How long will it take you to secure your cargo for transport? Um, two hours, maybe three. What the hell happened here, Doctor? Your guess is as good as mine. 
We assume that one or more of the crew members either snapped from the isolation or tried to control the new work for unknown reasons. Background profiles are the number oh, of like... There's more going on here than a couple of sailors having a bad day. And I think you know what it is. What was the Newark's cargo? That information is classified. Fuck the classification. No go on the uh, radio, Sarge. Uh, station's a mess. Uh, trashed. Uh, one of the uh, transmitters must be down. Uh, all I get is static. Okay. Do your best, Marine. Anything to report to the helm, Yargis? Yes, Sarge. Well, not that much. The helm is as trashed as everything else on this side. What in blue blazers is that? It's the intercom. This is Sergeant Harmon at the bridge. Please repeat. This is Volante reporting in, sir. Okay, go ahead, son. We hear loud and clear. Excellent, Marine. Now get your ass up to the bridge, pronto. Sir, we've got a survivor. Who is he? I don't know. But by the looks of his clothing, he seems to be a civilian. Dr. Ryan. Thompson. <clears throat> his, his name's Mike. Thompson. Yes. That's my name. Thompson. I am Thompson. I am Thompson 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 I am the Thompson Hello there You're not supposed to be here. No, uh, you, you, you needed space and then you left. And then, then... Ah! Oh my god! Oh, I hated that guy. I always hated that guy. Oh my god. I must be dead in hell. Because I always imagined hell to be full of assholes. And here he is. Their king. Long live the king! Uh, Long live the wrong. king! Can't you see that there's something Enough. wrong with him? Enough. Fine, you babysit him. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Mike. You're safe now. It's okay. Give him a minute. He's been stuck here for two months. Who knows what he's been through? So, uh, how's the radio coming? It's, uh, fucked up beyond uh, all recognition, Sarge. Communication, navigation, helm, it's fully trashed. Okay, Volante, head back to the Palomino and get a call up to the brass at Pendleton. Tell them that we've got one survivor and that the lieutenant is MIA. Take uh, Yargus and Silva with you. And then get back here and we'll have a search party. <laughs> we should get the cargo and leave. Not without the LT. And what about the Newark? Well, it's gonna be beyond our ability to recover. Let's have the salvage team to tow it back. 
Affirmative. Let's go, guys. What's the story with Thompson? Um, uh, Mike and I were involved for a long time, and when we broke up, he took the assignment aboard the Newark. When he disappeared, it killed me. Dom and I broke up over it. And then he found Ellie at a Swedish science conference and brought her into the project just to get back at me. It's just too much for me to deal with. This whole time I thought that Mike was dead and that it was all my fault. Well, that's a fine story you got there. And some other time I'd love to explore your whole relationship with Mr. Paterno. But all I really wanted to know was what Thompson's role on the project was. Unless that's classified information as well. Uh, Mike was the head of TMS field testing. I guess asking what you were field testing is still out of bounds, huh? Thompson. Can you tell us what happened to the crew? Carly? It's okay, Mike. I'm here. Power failure at 1605 caused the containment couplings to fail. And no one knew what happened until it was too late. And then, uh, she... She... She. 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 What happened, Thompson? Who's she? She. Who's she? It's okay, Mike. She. Ah! Don't touch me! Ah! Ah! Get a hold of yourself, man. Get a hold of yourself. What happened? What happened? She came at night, killing everyone in her path. She took everyone. Everyone. Except me. Who are you talking about? Who's she? Who's she? Who's she? Who's she? Tiamat! The Queen! There's no food that doesn't go with either bacon or peanut butter. But it has to be something that you'd actually eat. I mean, it can't be like no dirt or shit or anything like that. Oh, okay, so I guess that is everything from the mess hall. <laughs> Seriously, though, think about it. There's nothing that doesn't go with either bacon or peanut butter. Caviar. Bacon. I eat bacon with caviar. Well, what about ice cream? Peanut butter, you're not even trying. Where's Lazlo? I have no idea.
Scorpion, Phylum, Arthropoda, Class, Order, Scorpionida. Scorpions vary in size from about half an inch to about six inches. They're mainly active at night. Segmented body with six pairs of appendages. Their pinta like claws are called. Sushi. It's a bacon avocado roll. Yeah, but I don't even like sushi. It's nasty, it's slimy, it's disgusting, and I would never eat it. it doesn't matter. I would eat it. How about shaved ice? <laughs> you can eat anything with shaved ice. No, no, no. The rookie's got a point here. You are yeah. not gonna put bacon chips in a Slurpee. Or balls of peanut butter. <laughs> But, I mean... No, no, no buts. This game's stupid. It's got no rules. You're standing there asking him for an opinion, <laughs> yet you stand there and you tell him his opinion's wrong. You can't do that. <laughs> Plus, man, you said no condiments, and isn't that what peanut butter... Jesus, you're starting to piss me off. Ah, oh, fuck. No, no, you. Zip. You're not allowed to talk anymore. You, shut your mouth. You, get your ass up there, Radio Pendleton. I feel the rage coming on, and I don't want you to see me beat little Silva here. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> the... Hey, there's something wrong with the lights up here. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Okay, Rookie needs a nightlight. You want to head up and keep him company? Silva, what about a burrito? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'll hit the radio. Uh, you find out what's wrong with the lights in here. Okie dokie. Can't believe he just said that. Palomino to Pendleton, do you read? Palomino to Pendleton, do you read? Over. Palomino to Pendleton, do you read? We've boarded the Newark and secured the bridge. The situation is serious. Our commanding officer is missing. One survivor has been found. The rest of the crew is... DOA. The Newark's controls are damaged and we are unable to repair them. We'll continue the search for the lieutenant, over. That's a Roger, Pendleton. Palomino, over and out. Any more foods? <laughs> Jeff, don't be 
said she spoils for it. Keep trying. Jeff! Jeff, what's wrong? Oh, fuck! to assist me in I know what my orders are. Then why don't you be a good little soldier? Hey, you. are gonna tell me everything you fucking know now! Stand down, Tom. Stand down. What's wrong? Where's your eyes? Dead. Yes. Killed by something that this fucking bitch brought on board. I don't imagine we're gonna see the LT again for that either. Now you are gonna tell me everything you fucking know. Put your gun down. If no one else is gonna get killed over this. Project Tiamat was started in the late 1940s. It sprang out of atomic testing in the Arizona desert. It studied the effect of radiation on local plant and animal life and how it might have military application. After a series of missteps, the project went dormant until advances in genetic engineering at the turn of the century caused Genutech to resurrect it in the late 90s. You were ex experimenting on scorpions? Scorpions? What the hell were you people thinking? Imagine it. A near endless supply of self-replicating killers. As a biological weapon, the potential was enormous. We were scheduled to begin testing off the coast of Australia two months ago when the accident occurred. Yeah. You mean the experiment? When your bugs got loose and killed everyone about their ship. And who's the Tiamat that your friend mentioned? The largest specimen in the containment was a female. We named her Tiamat. She was kept separate from the males to avoid uncontrolled reproduction. How many of these things do you think there are? They're breeding. You can see their larva covering a number of the corpses. But they have a slow gestation period, as long as a year until they reach full size. So you're probably only dealing with the 24 or so from containment. 24 scorpions, you say? Minus the ones killed by Volante and Silva. I'd say we do a hard target search and exterminate the bastards. For the Newark, for the LT, and for Yargus. What do you say, Silva? I saw what those things did to Yargus. You can count me in. Volante? Oh, you know my answer, Sam. I'm a Marine. We kill bugs dead. You too. Make your way back to the Palomino. We'll meet you there when we're done. I've got something here that can help you. I can't believe those fucking idiots! I'll take care of them! 
try this myself! I can't believe Carly went along with them! I thought you were smarter than this! She never deserved you, baby. Oh. Oh, come on. Tell me all about the money. And I'll make sure you forget all about Dr. Carly Ryan. Twenty million dollars for bringing back viable scorpion specimens. chemical in the scorpion's carapace, while invisible under normal conditions, is highly visible when exposed to ultraviolet light. These lights will help you track the creatures, even in the darkest rooms. Winds of change are blowing, motherfucker. I've got a lead wrapped gift from Uncle Sam for you, you pointy tail fucking bitches! Particularly uniform will never again terrorize the halls of this ship. This room is clear. That's right. We'll be bringing back a full-size specimen of Tiamat and a number of the new larvae. Don't worry about the Marines, sir. I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Carly? I'm... Sorry to have to report that Dr. Ryan will be a victim of the Newark tragedy. That's right. Duty calls. Gotta go. Out. Tell me again about the money. Ten million dollars each. Yes!
her go. Shit. Um, Mike, where are we? Watch. Ten four one niner. Hey, hey, hey. Ten four one niner. Ten four. Vibration. Scorpions hunt by vibration. So this place must drive him crazy. Yeah. See? I'm not a complete lunatic. How long before we can leave? Soon. Oh, Mama wants to go shopping. Wait here while I go bag us a bug. Do you want me to keep it warm for you? I'll be back. Hurry. It's hotter here, more humid. Yeah, we must be getting close to their nest. Maybe the queen.
on me. Those things that they say they brought on board? 24. Fuck that. We've killed 15 or 20 so far already. Now you tell me, how does 24 minus 15 equal a fuckload? Since the ship's radiation energized bastards, and the recovery team sent in here is going to be slaughtered. No. Fuck this. this Super sized can of raid for those little fucks right here. Are you fucking insane? Who knows what setting up an explosive this close to the nuclear reactor will do? You want to kill us all? No, I don't want to kill us all. But listen, if we don't go in there and do something about this, then who's going to do it, huh? Look, I don't know about you guys, but I do not want to see those Genutech fucks get a hold of these things. Don't worry, Brad. I've got an idea on how we can keep that from happening. I'm here, Dr. Ryan. I thought I told you and the others to make your way to the Palomino. Wait for us there. Couldn't make it, Sergeant. Where are you now? Uh, we're in room 262, on level 2. We need to get out of here before the creatures find us. We'll come and get you. So, uh, you're with me. Tom? I don't like doing this, but I want you to find Paterno and Miss Winters. See if you can get them to meet us at the Palomino. Oh, I'll find our part of the sun. Bring him back safe and sound, even if it kills him. Careful, Tom. Don't you worry. I hate that guy so much I can taste it in my fucking balls, man. What are you up to?
She needs something, Carly. Helps pass the time. No. I have to get us out of here. I don't like being trapped in this place. Mike. I was so scared that, that you were dead and that it was all my fault. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't your fault. Freeze, fucker. Put your gun on the ground. Now! Now! My god, man. You just stood there and watched her die? I should shoot you right now, you cold-blooded fucking bastard. You could try. That's right. I just stood there and let her die. That means $20 million all to myself. There's nothing you or your marine buddies can do about it. A lot, Sarge. Oh, shit. Dr. Brown! Are you in there? Open the door! Ah! Ah! If, they, if, they, if, they, if they get in that door, we're dead. Come on, Mike! Ah! Ah! Mike! Ah! 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 Is there any other way out here? What about the ventilation ducts? Uh. Uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah, yeah. We should be able to make our way out. Hurry! Come on! Open the door! Harmon? Yeah. Is this a private party or can anybody join in? All right, you two. We're leaving. Grab your gear and let's go. Where are the others? Tom is keeping an eye on your ex-boyfriend. They'll meet us at the Palomino. Come on. What's that? What? Recognize this? We're gonna find him. And give it back to him. What do you mean you can't get me out of here? I need an evac ASAP. That's correct. The escape vehicle is full of hostiles. Circle around a flock. In that case, my fee has just doubled. That's right, $40 million or you don't get squat. Done. I'll bring you back your specimen. You just get me my money. Put the guns on the ground. Do it! Are you people still alive? What the hell does it take to get rid of you? Put the guns I down! I out of sight! Huh? Back off, Carly! You can still come with me. No, you asshole! You gotta pay for what you've done. No one do anything stupid. Put the guns down, Dom. We all just want to make it out of here in one piece. Big wigs are paying me a lot of money to make sure I bring back one of your children to Genutech. It was wrong, right?
Turner got away. Let's just make it to the Palomino and get out of here. Carmen! I can't. What? Paterno's still alive. I gotta make sure that it doesn't get off the ship with any other scorpions. You and Thompson, get to the Palomino. Just remove the docking clamps and switch on the autopilot. The sub will do the rest. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna blow up the reactor and take out the ship. Scorpions and your ex-boyfriend. We can all make it out of here in one piece, Sam. Dom's not worth throwing your life away for. It doesn't matter now anyway. Go on. Get to the Palomino. Go on. Run for the Palomino. Run. Come to Papa. Come on. I can't let you do that now, can I? No kidding. Let's hurry up and get the hell out of here. No, I was looking for this. I need help, Doctor. Please come back. Oh, hello. Carly. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'm really sick. I'm really sick. I'm really sorry. <sighs> I told you you couldn't beat me. All I have to do is put the reactor back online and then take care of the lovely Dr. Ryan. I think I'll have some fun with her before I kill her. Yeah. What do you think about that, Armin? I quit smoking. You can have my old ladder.
Thank you.